Making U.S. Education Number One in the World, Part Two of a five-part series, Level Classes Based on Students' Academics. The U.S. is ranked 30th in math, last or an F grade, 19th in science, near the bottom, third or a D grade, and 19th in reading, near the bottom, third or another D grade. This is a chart by the Pew Research Center, which shows the dismal poor performance in academics in science, mathematics, and reading. The United States finished 19th in science, last in mathematics, and 19th in reading. Really? How the U.S. Becomes Number One in Education. This will be addressed in a five-part series. Part One, Create Practical Education. Two, Level Classes Based on Students' Academic Abilities. Three, Reward Teachers for Students' Academic Increases. Four, Reinstate High School Vocational Training. And five, Provide Free Two Years of Higher Vocational or College Education. Level classes based on students' academics. Leveling classes simply means placing students in classes with their academic peers. This allows the teacher to teach at one academic level and to meet the academic needs of all students. Students' comfort levels are increased as students feel safe in the classroom where all students are at the same academic level. Level. Classroom order is increased, while classroom discipline is significantly reduced. In athletics, coaches place their athletes in groups based on their current athletic ability. Freshman, junior varsity, B team, A team, varsity, and starters. This allows coaches to coach at one athletic level. The freshman coach trains freshmen. The junior varsity coach trains athletes at the junior varsity level. The varsity coach trains athletes at the varsity level, etc. As the athletes level Level performance improves, they are promoted to the next higher level. This is part of the reason why the U.S., with just 5% of the world's population, continues to excel in sports. During the 2016 Olympics, the U.S. athletes won more medals than any other country. It was not even close. The second place country, China, was 50 medals short of the U.S. medal count. Just as in sports in the 1960s, schools leveled classes per student's current academic abilities. Schools generally had four different levels of classes, high performers, middle performers, low performers, and special education. This leveling of classes occurred in the U.S. when U.S. education was the third best in the world. Improving quality of schools in just one year. In Ohio, an elementary principal employed the leveling of classes in her school, and in just one year, her school went from a low academic grade of C- minus to the highest academic grade of an A+. Plus. Students felt safe being in classrooms with their academic peers. Administration experienced a substantial drop in dis disruptive students. The school excelled on the Ohio State academic tests. Sorting students. Reynoldsburg Middle School excels after radical move to group kids based on academic performance. The reason that this works is simple. Teachers, just as coaches, can only teach or train at one level at a time. If the classes are academically leveled, then the teacher can meet the needs of all the students all the time. Academic subjects, just as sports, can only be taught or coached at one level at any given time. In a class with different academic levels, when instructors teach at the middle level, the high level is bored. The middle level is happy and engaged in learning. The low level is frustrated and the special education level is the most frustrated. In this type of class, the three non-middle level students act out because of either boredom or frustration, disrupting the learning for all students. 
Most U.S. schools have multiple classes for the same grade level. Therefore, just like for our sports teams, different academic levels of classes can be created for each grade level. Administration may be against this because of the extra time and work that would be required of them to execute the academic leveling of classes. Administration may express concerns of parents who feel that class leveling stay stigmatizes their children. This can be diffused by creating a mechanism, just as in sports, for students to advance to the next higher academic class. Teachers would welcome this. Teachers can only teach at one academic level at a time. This will result in less incidents of disruptive behavior, which ruins the education for all other students. Implementing class academic leveling, voters like like you need to elect a president who supports academic leveling of classes, to elect a president who will appoint a secretary of education who believes in academic leveling of classes, to elect senators and representatives who support academic leveling of classes, to elect governors who support act- academic leveling of classes, and to elect school boards who support academic leveling of classes. How is academic leveling of classes implemented? The president nominates an education secretary who supports academic leveling of classes. The Senate confirms that education secretary. The education secretary commissions a study and a survey of schools that employ academic leveling of classes. The Department of Education publishes these findings to governors. The Department of Education creates men computer programs, instructions, and support for implementing academic leveling of classes. These resources are available at no charge to all educational institutions. The Department of Education provides seed funds for academic leveling of classes. Your governor will direct academic leveling of classes. Your local school board will implement academic leveling of classes. Parents, voters like you, will lobby school boards to academically level classes.